so hey guys welcome back in another video in unreal engine pubg type game so let's start because this video can be big so last of video we know that we create the locomotion system and some basics so now i found some bugs that as you can see once we pick the guns or our bags if we click on drop they still the inventory show the widgets or they have the items so let's fix this problem so as we know that for at our ui section we created that uh, if the boolean is true or false once this depends on this situation it will be display basically the uh, inventory ui this themes okay like depends on the boolean activated or not activated so i think uh, we need to add here the on the drop system we need to also set up the uh, that once we drop the weapon okay so this is for the dropping system so let's give it that drop uh, drop system for now i'm just giving that system okay so at the drop system uh, as you can see that uh, we set up at here but we also need to set up that once the drop m4 once is done it should be said that the m4 to untake that is false and also the backpack should be false so now the inventory will be automatically become fixed only just adding this to boolean so if i now just click on show you that i'm picking this boots and now if i click drop so on the drop items it's become disable or you know just close okay so now let's uh, work in the locomotion because there's a lots of neat things you need to do in locomotion so first of all as you can see we set up that without no weapon uh, animation then we will be set up that uh, for if we are using that gun okay so like if you want to use the, uh, that gun so what you can do at the uh, basically in our ui we can basically uh, pick up the weapon so we can add here the weapon list also so for doing that what i do simply add the button that is the same like that sorry <clears throat> so at here what i will be do basically simply drag those uh, m4 icons so just simply add here the b that is just now drag and drop the m4 okay okay so as you can see this is quite enough good right now okay so that is a basically the m416 so if we have the m416 so from this thing we can deactivate and activate this thing for our uh for using the gun or not if we don't want to use the gun or like that okay so let's give it a downsides and set it that uh m416b that is the m416 button okay now compile and save now let's see that are it's working or not so as you can see it's coming in UI. so also we need that same setups for the basically at here also what you do in our inventory ui that if the uh, m416 uh, we don't have so it should be you know the visibility system so simply just copy the system come in ui and paste it at here so we'll be also need to connect this thing with our basically with a sequence so just plug with this thing so we can create a multiple sequence okay so now because that is a player reference so we need to just remove this thing and connect it from this one so it will be work so for this one so will be set our m4b that is a button so it will be now once we have the basically the m4 so then it should be display as you can see it's not displaying if we have the m4 so we can basically now we can click this thing okay so basically now what you need to do basically we want that it will be shoot once we click the button it should be attached in our hands so also for that we need to open our uh basically on the player data we need our skeleton let's go to mesh u4 then mesh that is the skeleton so i'm just drag drop this skeleton in our uh player database so it will we will be fine very quickly and easily so now let's open so at here we need to now add a stock before do that we need to play you know just preview animation that everything is working on name so we can search that idle so and of ideally you can use for here but make sure that is the iron side or kind of like a hip okay so i'm just setting the iron side so we can basically uh, can see that our what's are it's good or not so then we need to just simply pose this thing and this start point so at here on the hand we need to attach this thing so simply just add a stock on hand so first of all search that hand and and at our hand will be add a stock called basically 
gun p that is a gun pose save these things once you said search that uh, gun p that is a gun pose now we can basically preview the assets with our m416 uh, maybe its name uh, un uh, that is okay so as you can see it's come okay so once this thing come as you can see but i think that m4 is uh, quite enough big i'm not sure but i'm seeing that it's big however now let's we need to just basically adjust the weapon yeah as i think that that is a uh, quite enough big yeah it's seriously very big <laughs> that's why it's uh, looking like that that is uh, super big so at here if you want so you can change the basically or you can basically uh, for the models okay because that is a uh, working on the geometry of the bp like we can change the size okay like if i go to content browser guns modes and just set the m416 so if this is uh, quite enough big so as you can see that is a one point so let's give it a 0 0.5 Oh, sorry not this one that should be one uh, we need to set up basically the set this thing with our root skin okay so now set this thing to 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 I'm just seeing that uh, how much it's good or not okay that what is the basically size so as you can see it's become I think that is a too low okay now let's set it to 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 so i can use the lock mode so with this one uh, we can change but the problem is on the stock uh, we can't see maybe let's see the reactive skills change we can yep uh, we can set up here this thing also so 7 0 0.7 let's check that uh, that is a enough good size or not yeah as you can see this is 0 0.7 is quite enough good for basically everything okay now i need to just set up this thing on his hand as you can see okay so now it's quite enough good so we'll be also set up the same stock that that is uh, for uh, gun that is a gun b and also set up this thing for that accurate size 0 0.7 0 0.7 uh, 0 0.7 so now as you can see that is the accurate size so we can basically change this stock position and adjust so that is our new gun location is gun p so now come at our basically the player bp set the player bp we need to now create the system of the changing weapon so our custom event that using you as a using uh, gu and gun okay using gun i'm just calling this thing okay so at the using gun what you need to do first of all you need to get the m4 reference if it's uh if it's evaluated or not so yeah is evaluated or not if this thing is evaluated and then we need to verify that are we have the m4 or not so if we have the m4 or not and everything is validated or not if everything is okay so then we'll be attach actor with company that is the same but it will be attach uh, so that is attach actor with component then the basically the target is our um, the m4 so just like that and the parent is basically mesh so i'm just getting the mesh and the stock is gun p so gun uh, p and make sure that is snap target so we'll be find the accurate position so compile and save so as you can see now it's quite enough good okay so yeah so now if we can execute if we can execute this thing so it will be work so now add our basically on player ui so we'll be use that on collect we'll be say uh, call this variable to search using gun components it will be will be active so now it's mean that it should become in our hand so let's try so if we have this thing so we have this so now if i click on oh that is gun looking very small so yeah oh maybe i'm not sure why this gun is uh, so much small 
I think this stock uh, for this stock size I think it's become change okay now everything is qu quite enough good because the uh, the stock size is basically the you know the second level optimized so as you can see that is a guns coming exactly position okay so we can basically uh, if we have the we can basically do the same thing at uh, the replicate uh, duplicate so if I want that if I do the same thing so I can basically uh, deattach this thing and just you know attach again with my back so for do that uh, on the using that uh, in my player section I will be can create a boolean call u us using m416 so it's mean that if i'm using this thing so second time it will be verify that if i already using this thing so before do that so i can now call another uh, this thing that if it's already using its false so it's mean that we are not using so it's mean that we can execute this thing but if you are already using this thing so i want that it will be it should be attached in our uh basically in you know hand so for that uh, simply what i do basically grab this thing copy because this is activating that's why so you know kind of like a loop type so for security reason purpose so what i do basically verify the m4 stocks because i don't want that some glitch or kind of like that so if it's evaluated so we can basically connect it and for the target that is basically the m4 reference or we can do the same reference and from this thing that is a target that is we can also plug from at here the parent is basically the mesh okay and then it, if it's uh, work like this thing so it, the m4 using should be false okay i think that is now pretty enough system so now if i click on pick so uh, so then if i click on this one so as you can see that we can basically uh use and again if i click it's become in my back so i can use and you know <laughs> not that so yeah the system is now pretty much working so we now we need to set up the animation that if we have the gun so we want to play with the gun animation okay like that so for do that we need to go in our animation bp so save this all this stuff make sure so before do anything make sure that you save correctly so if there's any problem come you can basically change okay so now from the idle uh we want uh, a new idle that is a uh, basically inside of the idle we want a basically a new state okay so basically just create a state uh, new state machine so why i'm just creating uh because inside of that i want that if idel uh, idel okay so basically what i want that if uh, on this state oh, sorry so uh why what i'm going to do just instead of this idel i want a system that uh if we are oh i understand so at this state so basically we can connect it with this thing so simply new state with that is a basically you can call that idle no weapon so now compile and save so at the idle no weapon we can call our basically the idle animation now you have a question bro why you are creating instead of state why you create another state because there's a reason so now compile and save so as you can see it's working because this state so we want that if let's see that if we have modify crops there should be a boolean we can add oh i forget that system that how can you use the basically to add the animation at the same time uh there is a you know the system is available should be Mm. 
if grubs no, no not this one I seriously forget that there's a two animation can be played at the same time depends on situation uh, seriously guys I'm not uh, Mm, no weapon. Seriously, guys, my mind is not working. I don't know. I use that system. Okay, guys, I will be making next video.